I thought it was an excellent day, a great day for uh, over 550 manufacturers throughout uh, the South East and uh, Victoria to come together to really uh, network, to hear great stories about success and to uh, map out some visions for their own businesses. So I thought it was a really excellent day. Yes, very much so. And we certainly heard, I think, quite a few of those uh, messages. One about uh, that there is a future, and that's probably the biggest message. There is a future in uh, manufacturing, a great future in man Victorian manufacturing, that uh, they can do that through good planning, through, uh, through good people and good processes, and, uh, and also finding the right product for, for market and being close to customers. All those are great messages, I think, came through all the, uh, all the messages and all the speakers we heard today. Very much so. I mean, our job is really to meet each and every one of those businesses that were here today and the many more that couldn't make it here today, to understand their particular issues, to, uh, to, to find solutions for their problems when they're dealing with government or when they need to find other companies uh, to, to do business with. We can help them with all of those. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you very much for coming along today. Thank you. I thought it was fantastic. A great, great turnout and lots of good people. I thought the mood was great all the way through. I, um, the the, the, the um, speakers were fantastic. There's lots of learnings, um, and uh, yeah, it was great. It is, and it's also interesting to hear what the speakers said. That all the learnings that we've had in our business over 20 years, that those learnings they're telling everyone now, and, and, and it's great to come to these events because those learnings cost us a lot of money in, in time. So it was fantastic. It was great. Fantastic. Erica, did you enjoy yourself today? I had an absolutely fantastic time. There's been a lot of positive energy amongst the speakers and amongst the audience. I think that everyone in the audience, people I've spoken to in the audience, have really felt the energy amongst the um, speaker panel and have seemed to have been able to harness that energy, which is great. And is it interesting for you to meet people outside your industry but still involved in manufacturing? Fantastic. It's been a real eye-opener for us, or for me particularly. Um, there's a lot of um, correlation between different business models. We, I'm finding already that with a number of businesses that we've, um, we've got similar business models, different industries, different caliber in terms of size and location, but um, the model's similar, so we're learning from each other. Uh, which is what this is all about, is, is trying to learn and better ourselves and as an industry, um, make sure that we can all be best practice and, and collaborate. And have you got one key takeout message for people attending today? I think the important thing for the manufacturing industry is for us to stay positive and look for the opportunities and make sure we turn any adversity into a, a positive experience and take advantage of that, and that way that we can all um, win and work together and, and collaborate. We need to also break down those walls so that we can work together and, and make sure that adversity becomes an opportunity. I think the biggest advantage of today was actually the networking opportunities that people have. Even for myself, uh, not being from directly from the manufacturing industry, able to just join a few links and um, potentially build more opportunities for people just uh, indirectly. It's been the biggest, biggest advantage of the day. The mood of the room is interesting. There's a lot of networking, as you said. Do you think there's good scope for Victorian manufacturing in the future? I think so. I think um, international imports aside, just in our local market, um, has the. The industry has changed for them also, but they haven't been as quick to um, change their methods and approaches. So places like Western Australia and Queensland are going to be left behind. Um, and all we need to be is nimble and able to react quickly and we'll pick up a lot of market share that the other states will, uh, will miss. Well, the numbers tell it all, don't they? You know, it's a massive turn up. Uh, the difficulty is uh, what people take out of the session, what they've learnt from the day, and sometimes their expectations are too high, particularly as presenters. Uh, but if everyone walks away with one thing they've learnt, then it's a great thing. If everyone embraces the concept of change which is coming forward, then the day's been a fantastic success. And for those who couldn't attend today, if there's one message, what would it be for those people? 
Uh, for me, if change is inevitable, stop procrastinating and getting on, get on with the change. Uh, if, particularly for those in the automotive industry, they know that it's going to stop, uh, but the longer they wait, the worse it's going to be as far as the transformation of their business is concerned. Um, now's the time to, you know, uh, to, to, to act on those processes. And do you think the Victorian manufacturing sector has a bright future? I think provided people change their attitude, um, it's unlimited. Um, you know, modern manufacturing, this is a misconception, uh, modern manufacturing is not labour intensive or anything else. It's technology intensive and it's capital intensive. And the most important thing is whether we have a global vision for our industries in Australia. If it's just local, I don't think it'll survive. But I think if we tackle the global markets, um, uh, particularly the, the new emerging middle class in Asia, I think we've got a fantastic opportunity. Cinevision. Making life easier.